there is a war and he's got a job to do. Hey everyone, it's Meg and welcome to my first time watching Blade 2. Numero dos, the second, can't go wrong. If you missed it, I reacted to the first Blade on my channel about a month ago and now it's time for the second one. If you remember correctly, I loved it, first of all. Second of all, I loved it so much that I was distraught at the idea that there weren't any more Blade movies. I literally almost cried. <laughs> so I'm so excited to watch this one. Shout out to Louie, tier four patron who picked it. He was basically like, naturally, I'm gonna pick Blade 2. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me an excuse to watch it. Uh, but yeah, so last we left off, we had that vampire god, Frost Deacon. Uh, I guess he was kind of like an avatar to the god, but he's dead. And I think he's dead. I'm not going to get my hopes up. He's so evil, but I do love his character. <laughs> I, I do think he's dead. Um, I bet we'll have a different villain entirely. But... Wesley Snipes was amazing. You know, Karen was amazing. Everything was so good. Um, and oh, also the last scene was him in Moscow still fighting vampires. I don't know if someone else is gonna try to like take on Frost's plan or if we're gonna go a completely different direction. But I do imagine that Frost's plan to make more people vampires and have, or even everyone, but then I don't know what they'd eat. Um, <laughs> maybe animals or like maybe they just like stack dead bodies in freezers, probably. It's like half of them are vamps and then they kill half and then just like, or they make like human eating a face. Okay, that's really dark. I'm in the right mindset, I feel though. I'm really in the mi right mindset, but I do think that that's gonna return just because that's, yeah, I think that vampires, some evil vampires are gonna want vampire supremacy. And he said there's a war going on. So I'm interested in seeing who or what the villain is. And I'm just excited to have more fight scenes. Y'all told me such great stuff about this. And like, this is what kicked Marvel off. You know, there wouldn't be an Iron Man or Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. There just wouldn't be anything that we know of Marvel Cinema if it weren't for this movie. There's just like so many cool facts that I'm sure you know, but I did have a lot of fun reading your comments and learning about it. I love that he's such a professional. He knows so much martial arts. He's an expert. I love that he cares about it so much. But yeah, I could ramble on and on. I think I just want to watch the movie. I'm super excited. Oh, what was the guy's name? Whistler. He's dead. That's really sad, but we'll still see Karen, right? And she managed to cure herself. Another important thing is that in the comics, he's just a vampire who's immune. Sorry, <laughs> no. He's a human who's absolutely immune to becoming a vampire, which is interesting. They chose to make him more, you know, like half a vampire. It's cool, I like both. Um, and then also Frost was an older man. I really want to read the comics. Okay, I'm so excited. Can you tell? Check. I'm sorry. Boomy's crazy right now. The vibes are immaculate already. First time giving blood. <coughs> giving blood. Yes. They even buy it in the jar. Jared Nomak, we're ready for you. We'll talk about the feeding farms that I predicted at the beginning. So they're taking advantage of poor people. This man is cool though. We came up with some unusual results on your blood test. What? Is he a vampire? Your blood has a very rare phenotype, one we haven't encountered before. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> For you. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a vampire. Or he's a... Mm, I see canines. What is happening? 
Vampire. But still, the blood is rare to them. Oh, shoot. A beer you <laughs> sir <laughs> no i don't like that i really don't like that forget what you think you know vampires exist i have all their strengths none of their weaknesses Except for the thirst, Whistler. Aww. He taught me how to hold the thirst at bay. He lives on. Oh, look! Flashback! They took him and turned him into the thing I hate most. I should have finished him off. <gasps> He's a vampire? Oh! <gasps> no! I didn't even consider that! Why did I consider that? And nothing will stand in my way. He's going to be a very powerful vampire. I can imagine people were going crazy in the theaters. I can imagine. What the hell is this guy? I guess he's just another blood sucking thing, you know? Could be any kind of, ooh, any kind of vampire. I'm sorry, monster. <laughs> well, yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> I like your little feather boa. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh shit. You can tell the CGI has improved. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So effortless. I love him. Cool, calm, and collected. Calm, cool, and collected. It's like a dance. But a lot of martial arts is like a dance. He gets it. He's a pro. I love the cape twirling in the air. Uh-huh. Effective. He's not going to waste his time stabbing uncontrollably. Get the weak spot. Get him down. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Did he just kiss himself in the rear view mirror? Oh my god. It's your turn now. He likes this motorcycle. He's gonna keep it. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Is that like blood cocaine? Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be something? Blood cocaine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He's having fun with it. There's a joy in Blade this time. Uh-huh. He's the best, guys. He's my favorite Marvel superhero. Ooh, I don't even know if he'd be called a superhero. I don't give a shit. He's my favorite. I have chills. Get you later. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. I can tell he's more expressive, he's more playful with his fights, especially from the beginning of the first movie. And I think that's just him, you know, coping with everything because so much has happened and we saw it a bit, the freedom in his movements and his expression in the ending of Blade One. He carried it with him to the second. It's so, it's such a good progression. Oh no. Is this Whistler? Look at what they've done to you. Oh my God, I didn't expect him to be in this movie. But I'm like, this is his worst nightmare. He begged you to kill him, but. 
Oh, look at how he's hooked on. Are you going to kill him? So that person who they thought was just a human, they were going to do the same thing to him because he had all those injector things, syringes. Oh. Lighting is even better somehow. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he's not going to kill him. Hmm. I wonder, I think that um, the doctor, I, th I believe her name is Karen. Her cure is only for if it's like at the beginning. I'm not sure. I, it's, I would be amazed if they could cure him when he's like this in this state. Dark Knight returns. The Dark Knight. They had him on stasis in a halfway house. Stasis. I'm giving him an accelerated retroviral detox. Okay. I see you kill a motherfucker right now. You don't know Get him. Out. Yeah. You don't love him like we do. I don't know who this guy is, but we're going to try everything for Whistler. In the morning, those blinds are going to open, whether you're cured or not. Okay. Oh, I hope you make it through. I don't know why they put us through this and give us hope if you just... I didn't mean to call him. <sighs> I'm going to do that to Caleb. <laughs> it's so sassy. That guttural voice. There's so many Eastern influences and it makes sense with the ma martial arts, but he's almost like a samurai with the control and poise and the way he stores his weapons. Oh no, is he gone? What? Oh, so he got out? Like hammered shit. I think that's him. I think that's him. Ah, yes. The best freaking movie ever. How long was I gone? Too long. <laughs> He's going to be more emotional with you. He's made a lot of progress. Oh, we have so much to update you on. Sorry, sons of bitches could at least fix my goddamn leg while they were at it. His wedding ring. That's so sweet. First things first, put on the ring. I love that we could tell that it was him by the way he looked at Josh, Blade. you call me Scud, though. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been messing with his shit? Powerpuff Girls! <laughs> My problem is I've been sucking blood clots for two years. Get him, get, get him, get him. Find some jerk off <laughs> fucking with my life's work. Hey, we jeopardize our whole operation to save your puckered old ass. Our operation? Yeah. Our operation? I get him. this operation, you ass wipe. Have some respect for fucking Whistler, you skiddy skid mark. <laughs> Sorry. Body temperature 50, I guess suck at. Wait, who's? Oh, someone got in. Whistler, you just fell into it? Like, what? He's insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't trust you. I don't trust you? Blade, I don't think you prepped Scud well enough. <laughs> but he's not, he's not, not going to think of that. He's not going to think of talking to him. <laughs> Hello? Is this Cirque du Soleil? Lighting's so good. Yeah! Uh oh. <gasps> the parry, 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 parry. Block, 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 block. His posture, too. Absolutely poised. Imagine Blade and John Wick. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. It's hard to watch the other person in the fight, you know? Yes! Oh, this is cool. Yes! 
Misa, Poda, Nodruk. So I think these might be with the first guy. Yeah. You represent the ruling body of the vampire nation. Oh. No. They're offering you a truce. Oh. They want to meet with you. Oh. But now there's something else loose on the streets. Something worse than you. Romance? Something worse than you. Could probably put it in a nicer way. I also feel like in the fights, he's controlling himself at the beginning. Like, I don't know if we've ever seen him at his full potential. Like, you know, in dancing, you do 80% or 50%. He knows how to control and then, like, give it to him. She likes him. Syntax. You're still disappointed. She likes it. Her name was Misa or Nisa? Ooh, so I think this is the same vampire council that Frost was in, right? Oh. Oh, this is different from Frost's council? Blade. Hi. This is Overlord Eli Damaskinos. He's like... <laughs> You're human. Barely. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> I love that. Unfortunately, viruses evolved too. We've encountered a new one. We've dubbed it the Reaper strain. Weemer? Weemer? Weener? Lemur? There'll be hundreds before the week's out. Thousands within a matter of months. Okay. You want me to hunt them? For you? Your precious humans. Not one of them will be left. Um, I don't know about the rates. Theoretical rates. We've been training to hunt you. <laughs> His eyebrows. It's a beam out. What do you think? It's tricky. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> what do you really think? They're gonna fuck us the first chance they get. Yeah. He's smiling. <laughs> Whistler's smiling. We'll play along for now. Yeah. It's my Baldur's Gate characters. She's just like, we'll play along with the deal, whatever, and then we'll change our minds. <laughs> Damn, man, I'm really worried about him. I mean, look, I know he's your friend and all, but I think you should watch him. Nobody goes cold turkey from the thirst in just one night. Oh, yeah, that's true. But he's still him. So, like, we can we can figure something out. I just feel like it maybe it wouldn't carry that far, and I don't know if he is really the villain, because what if he only kills vampires? Well, that's very scary. We'll see. I guess we're going to find out. Um, this guy, first of all, Smash. That's my kind of man. <laughs> and I won't be taking questions at this time. But maybe he's an anti-hero. What is that? What is that? So he like tested the blood first. So sweet, he said. Uh, I'm not sure what that guy was, if he was just a human or not. Well, he shared with the other guys. What? What are you doing? They are ready whenever you are, Daywalker. Lighthammer, Verlaine, Chupa, and Reinhardt. Hey! Me introducing my mods. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mods. <laughs> Tag yourselves. <laughs> Can you blush? Go, Poppy. I don't understand. Because of the blood in the face? You've been training for two years to take me out. And now here I am. Whew. Ooh, so exciting. <laughs> Missed that? It's okay, I can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now you got an explosive device stuck to the back of your hand. 
Silver nitrate. Rig to go off if anybody tampers with it. Any questions? Any questions? Oh my god. I love him because he is not your typical hero. <laughs> I don't even know if he is a hero. The House of Pain. She likes him though. She and she, I think she liked him even before she met him because she was like, I'm disappointed, you know? And then he proved himself. But the way that she walked in on him administering the cure to himself, I wonder if she might also have the cure eventually. Switch sides. Nice. You just see the way she looks at him. She's down bad. We've modified the gun's entry light with UV filter. Pop it open, instant UV light. The cartridge ejects, automatic reload. Nice. <laughs> that's, that's why he picked him up. Better curb that dog of yours or we'll do it for you. Don't mess with Whistler. He'll do it. That's why he's called the boogeyman. Guess he'll kill a million vampires. Okay, shit. <laughs> Me and my mods pulling up for stream. <laughs> to see, yeah, to see that red compared to all the rest of them. He is so different. I like this song a lot. What is that? Oh, that's like even worse than just biting someone. Cause they're, oh, it's like advertisements for blood. Like McDonald's would be showing you a Whopper. They're showing you blood on the TV screens to get you to <laughs> buy shit. Yeah, they got probably have their own economy and the cops are bought out by the vampires and stuff. So I think that they got good money and economy going on. The blood shots. As someone who dabbles in vampire romance and smut, these vampires are not sexy to me. And that's purposeful, you know. Why? Why? What? Scud, you better not be a traitor. Walking on sunshine, toke boy. <laughs> Look at them. Half of these bastards are not even pure bloods. Enough with the vampire racism. I bet he feels it or knows about it. Yeah, look. Mm-hmm. You, you thought. You thought. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. I love that he's opening up more with his goofy humor and stuff. <laughs> Everyone's like dancing and he's just like. Oh, he's looking for the daywalker. Beautiful shot. Beautiful set. The <laughs> vampires would totally camp out there. Uh oh. Are you gonna die? Oh my god, scare me. I really like the pacing of this one. I feel like there was a lot of slow moments in the first one and it worked, but this one to start off quick shit. And then to have like, that was the first time it really slowed down and made you really tense. I just feel like the pacing is really effective in this one. I knew it. Ah. Wait, what if Whistler has that phenotype? Well, no, I don't think so. Because they'd probably see it in the blood test or whatever. What am I to you? Is the enemy of my enemy my friend? That depends. Or my enemy. Ask him, do you kill humans? 
because then if they don't, if they exclusively have vampires, then what? How are they different from you, buddy? We're under attack. There's three of them, probably more. I wonder if it's also just like evolution and like natural selection, almost, where either someone developed that almost like a vaccine to kill off the vampires and combat them or it just naturally developed to control the population of vampires i am i gonna be rooting for the blood pack that'll be weird oh my god nice it's definitely making me appreciate them more they all got different skills, I guess. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, disgusting. Ew. Okay, so I don't think it's a controlled movement of like, we're only killing vampires. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, oh yeah, okay, so that's, all right. Really don't like that. I really don't like that. What a donut duck. He's gonna get you. Oh my God. I really don't like that. <laughs> That's really creepy. Mm, okay. That's good. I think Blade just saved you. Maybe it's Whistler. Oh my God. He already turned that fast. <gasps> oh man. Yeah, that's. Oh, I thought he looked. I already thought he was turning into that guy. It looked like because he was bald. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, he's looking like the rest of them. So do, do the women also turn into like bald creatures like that? It was Whistler. It was a Whistler. And he's the one who put it in the guns. Imagine if we didn't have Whistler. Yep. UV light. OK, OK. Okay, that guy's pretty badass. And he reminds me of Blade in that he's just like calm, cool, and collected. I love the graffiti. It feels like it blends modern time with more ancient elements, old timey elements. Oh! Wow! Could you switch to the floor? Well, this is Blade's expertise, so he's got the balance and such. Um, I take it back. I don't want to smash. Um, hello. What is going on? Pass. Huh. He's just watching every move, learning. Same thing, Blade. You keep saying that, but I don't think it's true. I love the different percussion. Then why didn't he kill you? Then why didn't he kill you? Oh, is she working for both sides? Move. Ew. Oh my god, it's still moving. We lost a man. Priest. You want me to carve his fucking name on your chest? You would have all died if it weren't for his UV light guns. So I'm moving in the alley and following it down. Found it just like this. Nice. They came through here. Oh my god, he just captured him. It's already dying. 
I need to examine it as quickly as possible. Yeah, I agree. Learn what you can. Blood jello? I've been informed by our friend inside that events are unfolding as scripted. You've already lost one of your own. How many more are you willing to sacrifice? <gasps> Everyone. Even your own daughter? Yes. Even her. Is that Misa Nisa? Blood bath. Whoa. They need fresh blood every couple of hours. Or they start feeding on themselves. Oh. So maybe the vampires, like, tried to develop it. And then it got out of their control. It's so... Ew. Everything is going as scripted. That's why I feel like maybe she's a daughter and she's not kept updated on everything. She looks like she's questioning things. Ew! I don't like that it's yellow. And there's Powerpuff Girls again. He's gonna turn. What the fuck is that? Brain's dead. Body's still trying to feed. I know that's like worms and stuff. You know the thirst better than any of us. Shooting that serum of yours. The only difference between us is that I made peace with what I am a long time ago. Hmm, so that implies that she's been doubting or like doesn't want to be a vampire. She's had moments where she didn't accept herself. That's interesting. There's just no other option to them. Blade shows up, saves my ass. Everything else just sort of fell into place. I think I'm insane, but I'm like, why are they choosing the Powerpuff Girls? But the Powerpuff Girls were created by Professor X, by their dad. Oh, I love that. Light bombs. All right. Papa's got a brand new bag. <laughs> Are you a little bit proud of him? I knew that they would eventually get along. You and Miss Muffet get a little cozy there. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that if I was you. You know, Whistler, there's an old saying. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. No! Whistler can't be- No! Whistler can't be on the other side. What if he's spying? Like, maybe they put him there for Blade to find him. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to think about that. I do think she could be kept in the dark, no pun intended, by if that really is her dad, her dad. And maybe he already introduced himself as the father. I'm not sure. Butterbin? Uh oh. For you and us, Buttercup. <coughs> Why? We lose a partner, and Blake loses one. <gasps> Wait, seriously? You're gonna kill him? No way, dude. Which one was that? You're losing other partners and you're just wasting your damn time killing Whistler. Oh, nice. Oh my god. She killed herself and him. That was good of her. Get up! Right now. Oh, man. Oh, she went towards him. Girl, you gotta get out. You gotta get out. Me. Do what I tell you. Three. Two. Okay, that was cool. That was really cool. Regroup. Oh, 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 
Well, the blood pack is really dwindling down. How many are even left? You obviously do not know who you are fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my god. Yes! It makes UV light look so powerful, which it is. Oh my god, stop. <gasps> Wait. Wait. You will survive this. Only to tell Blade about this ring. About the truth. The truth, old man. They're mosquitoes. Neglected to tell Blade. They're mosquitoes, I think he said. So I of creation. I really think that they were made. Oh, is she dead? I thought maybe she just got hurt. Oh, she's alive. Oh, <gasps> you're gonna let her feed on you? That's a huge sign of trust. Oh. Who did that? Oh. Not that great, I'd say. This is part of the plan. My daughter. Yeah. And it's like, if he is a really old vampire he looks like the reavers do says. oh the family crest that was like the ring that he gave whistler so he is tricking his daughter too whistler's waiting for you to wake up he's got some shit to tell you it was designed what designed Nomak told me. Saw him back in the sewers. To rid all kind of any hereditary weaknesses. So, recombining DNA was simply the next logical step. Is that his Nomak daughter? Was the first a failure? Oh. There'll be a new pure race begotten from my own flesh. <gasps> You want to explain how Nomak got a hold of this ring? Is he... I give it to him, of course. A gift. From father to son. So... He was originally naturally born? He said Nomak was, like, the first of... Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, man. B. I knew it. He's a traitor. It was never supposed to explode. He's a traitor. He's supposed to make you feel in control. Yeah. See this? Oh, you asshole, Scud. The old fuck, he was always just bait. I mean, look it at wasn't him. Whistler. He's your only real weakness, man. Yep. You're just too human. You little shit. Yeah. <laughs> I let them in, asshole. Uh, uh. I practically handed them the keys. Oh, God. What do you think about that, man? Two things. Let One, him have it. I've been on to you. Yeah. Since they turned you. And two, it's not a dud. Oh! <laughs> See a scud dud. Sorry. <laughs> I just starting to like him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The baby's so creepy, y'all. Been there, done that. Do your worst, chicken shit. We'll settle up after. Oh. Oh my God, he's so amazing. I'm so sorry for ever doubting you. I just felt like there was a traitor, like even more so than the blood pack. And it was Scud. 
Sometimes it's the obvious one. What else should I find out? I trusted you. Your own children. <laughs> Make no mistake, Nissa. Those blood ties mean nothing to me when measured against the ascendancy of our race. Oh. Really? No, Mac. Hmm? Uh. No, Mac? He's working with Nomak. Wait, how does he know now? Did you put a tracker on or something? Oh my god! I, okay, I changed it back to Smash! Oh! They're working together now. He's waiting for his moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, he was ready! Whistler was like, yep, we're working with this guy. King! King! Let's see if you're really human. I think he's really human. I haven't seen a human die by gunshot in a while. Oh! Their relationship is really... Something. Wait. Oh! Are those all vampire soldiers? He's so powerful. And it's... Look at the monster you created. Father. Never and it's kind of like... Blade and his mom. Well, look, He has a lot of strengths. <laughs> he was running away. <laughs> Oh my god, what a fucking coward. Get him, Nomac. Yeah, help him, help him, help him. I forgot about that. Oh, but we, you know, we saw the Lord bathing in blood. The Father. So, I think it's gonna seep through. He's not even gonna have to drink it, because he has all those wounds. It's like they showed us that can happen with the bathing. Ooh, the base. <laughs> uh-huh. That was a full neck roll. Two of them. Ooh, shoulders, too. He's like, I feel great. <laughs> I love it when he's not using weapons. And he still has the poise, but it's a bit more uncontrolled. Oh! 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 Can you blush? God, I'm so glad this duo is here. Mm, I think he's going to kill the babies. Yeah, yeah, kill the babies. Mm, yeah. Repro choice up in here. And they, they had to go. They had to go. It's just too creepy and weird. And like they, especially the, the, Eldest son didn't ask for it. Okay, let's go, girl. Let's go. Are you insane? <laughs> Are you, dude? Isn't it sad that you die not by the hand of your enemy, but by that of your own children? Keep your enemies close. Are your friends closer? I think so. That was uh, Blade kind of telling 
Whistler that he knew it was Scud was a traitor. Oh, was it? Really? Really? No. No. Get it? They look like him. Uh-huh. Are you going to bite him? You're going to make him you. Oh, no. Green blood. Oh, one last act of mercy. Ew, you're gross. Requiescat in pace. Mm hmm Yeah, fuck your family line and your crest. Um... Oh! Work together for a little bit, but... He's very powerful right now, so be on your best behavior. His blood doesn't look yellow, though. Oh! The sound mixing is so good in this one. But isn't she gonna turn? So I wonder if she'll use her powers to like kill her brother. He needs, I think he has way too much. Oh, the shot is so cool! He needs to go. He's got too much anger, too much bitterness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh my god, no! Are you kidding me? He's unhinged. His costume design is so good. It works really well for him. It looks like I've finished my father's job. Yeah, which was kind of the point. Oh, jeez. Cut off that disgusting tongue. Because <gasps> he was paying attention, he saw the bone and the heart with the anatomy lesson oh my god that's amazing there's the orange blood i'm sorry about your circumstances and your dad and your how you got here but strange what it hurts it hurts no Like, that's what he wanted. Oh, shh. Sorry, dude. Wow. And he's so similar to Blade because he's like, I hate vampires. Wow. You can requiesce God in Pache. I'll give you that. But not your dad. What are we going to do with her? I want to see the sun. Oh. This is like really dark. Oh wait, what if she doesn't? And then it's like she was the perfected one. Oh. That would have been cool. Oh wow. I feel like that was a pretty decent way to die out of all the options. Whistler's the perfected one. Well, I feel like Blade is almost. Beautiful shot. Oh. Just in case. <laughs> oh, God. Ew. Well, you didn't think I forgot about you, did you? Yeah. He said, I'm coming back for you. He said, I'm coming back for you. <gasps> you yeah. That was amazing. Jemima, mama, two of a 
Yes! This is like, I really want to pay attention to the credits because this was so well done. This was so well done. I feel like I like this one better. It's hard because I really like the first one, but this perfect length of time, really well written, really well paced. I still have some questions about Whistler. I guess the retro viral or whatever, the viral shot worked. Um, I loved that. That was, I, I like that even better than the first one. I'll just say it. I really, I really liked that. I feel like they just like got even better with it and took what was good, made that even better, fixed some of the past stuff, um, you know, made the CGI even better and solidified his character without like completely making it something else. Um, that villain, you know, you guys know I love Frost. You know I love Frost, but I do really love that villain because he's so similar to Blade and Normac. And the fact that he's kind of like this family creation, it was more, it was intentional with him, but it really backfired. And then he's discarded and used, you know, it's, I mean, so many black sheep in the family can probably relate to him. That's why I'm like, yeah, I understand your struggle. Probably um, her struggle more, Misa or Nisa, because, sorry, I didn't have captions for that. So I don't know if it's Nisa or Misa. <laughs> Couldn't tell. But she's like the golden child, you know, the perfect one. That's what he said. You were always his favorite. And that was before he bit her. Um, but yeah, I can definitely relate to that being the golden child and then realizing everything is a lie, you know, and that they'll prioritize other stuff over you as the child. But I did really love her arc and you could see, you know, everything was intentional. The shots of her watching him and, you know, kind of questioning things. And I really do feel like she has been questioning things for a while. But I just appreciated that everything was so set up so it made sense, you know, the twists and stuff like it was just a very well done movie paced very well. And there wasn't anything extra or unneeded. Like, I feel like a lot of modern movies suffer from that where they worry that their point won't get across. So they make like a three hour movie or two and a half hours. And it's just a lot of stuff that, you know, you can't even you're either like peeing your pants in the theater or you miss things because <laughs> you have to go pee. Don't get me wrong, like a two hour, less than two hour movie is the best because you just, you guys can do it. I believe in you. There's examples. Like this is a great example of a very well done two hour, less than two hour movie, one hour 50 or whatever it was. And it was just so enjoyable. It makes me want to watch it again because they fit so much stuff in there. Um, but yeah, you saw her questioning and observing him, observing Blade and, you know, kind of crushing on him, but also admiring him. So that arc where she turns on her dad and has empathy for her brother, that is just so, it was meaningful for me and it, it's believable. And then him, you know, it started off with him like that. He was the first scene and I am, I mean, he's just a really cool villain. And I, I wonder if he's in the comics because I would love to read his comics. I think that he's just a really cool villain for Blade because Blade can relate to being half vampire, half not like he is half vampire, half failed experiment. Normac. Nomac. Norman. Nor, nor Nomac is. Um, and then, you know, him working with Whistler at the end and getting the message across, showing the ring was just really satisfying and cool. I definitely still have questions about Whistler. Um, what exactly happened? I'm guessing it's just he's a human and he survived because he could go in the daylight right yeah he could so i think he just um 
was able to survive from that like antiviral thing because he was kept in stasis so maybe they didn't give him too much of the virus but that that would also make sense because scud was like you know kind of planting trying to plant seeds of doubt like you gotta be careful with him you know i'm worried about him but he was the traitor all along and i feel like they did such a good job with that character because it's similar to a whodunit mystery where usually it's the person you first suspect or the obvious culprit but then you know you get tricked along the way and confused so i really appreciated him as like a kind of side traitor villain you know like a less lesser than villain because i don't even know if nomak was the main antagonist like the main antagonist was that lord Dem whatever his name is yeah that was really cool and then the lawyer <laughs> i loved the lawyer and i actually really did appreciate the blood pack because i i think it was cute that blade was working with them i could tell he still cared you know that of he cared about their their deaths not so much that guy with the bomb in the back of his head um but he eventually grew to care about the ones that i don't know like it was just it was really fun to see an unlikely alliance between blade and vampires you know and then he did work with nomak as well so that was super cool i wonder i do know that there's a third one it's called blade trinity and I'm excited to see if, like, what happens to the Reavers, because there's got to still be some there. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just really excited to see where they might go with it. The goal, I think, it's almost like evolving from Frost's plan, where the goal is to have vampires have more power and not have to hide. They can be... Um, in the sun etc etc so i think that they might escalate it even further for uh, like following the pattern because he just kind of worked on frost's plan but then the lawyer did say the lawyer did say you know thanks for eliminating thanks for eliminating our threat frost deacon so it's just interesting. Frost was kind of acting on his own too. He didn't like the purebloods thing. It's, and that's the thing, like there is so much freaking racism within the vampire community. Like they still think purebloods are the best. And I just love that it explores that even within the villains or like the evil people. They're being experimented on there's still like almost like classism but it's it's racism because the the half vampires are not good enough the anyone who's not a pure blood isn't good enough and to i just love that they explore all the different variations and you guys know i love a good kind of family analysis especially you know that guy's He's a, he's a freaking narcissist, so I'm just going to love any kind of twist and and villain where the plot has to do with family and, you know, familial abuse and stuff. So I personally really liked it and I loved, you know, I feel like a villain, the best villains are actually pretty similar to the protagonist and just you knew from the beginning, I hate vampires. I hate vampires. But I am glad that Blade stuck to his morals. And it's sad because he what he did learn to fight and work with and care about a pure blood. Misa. Nisa. Whatever it is. He was like pretty into her. He cared about her. And that's a big thing for Blade. That's a big thing. And I just wonder if it's going to affect, like, is he going to kill every single vampire he sees now? Is there an option for some vampires to be cured like him? Because she was not comfortable. She said, I had to learn to accept who I am. 
So she probably had ethics and, and didn't want to drink from humans, you know? But it's just so well done. The fight scenes were even better. They were so exciting. And I feel like the perfect length um, and watching him work and fight and perform, oh, so good. And then, you know, the stuff that I loved from the first one, the lighting, even better, the cinematography, even better, CGI, you know, it was really, really, really creepy. I would have loved to learn more about like what the tongue things are and like why that comes to be. Um, if it's like separate or if it is just part of the body, like what, I would just love to know more about that, uh, the Reavers and, but pretty much almost all of my questions were answered. So like, I probably just missed something. I just, I really enjoyed it. I would just want to watch it again. <laughs> so good. And I'm so excited for three. The music was so good too. I love the blend of, you know, more traditional things, whether it sounds like, you know, a martial arts movie or like an, a more ancient sounding, like guttural singing, choral. It's not even choral, but that guttural low voice. Um, to add and build that tension and then modern day rap and bass and guitar. It's just so good, different percussions. I could talk about it a lot, so I'm gonna stop myself there, but I would love to know what you think. And if I missed anything or any lore behind the scenes, shout out to Louie for this uh, request at tier four and my other tier four patrons, I appreciate you all of the rest of my patrons and my youtube channel members thank you for going on the blade journey with me he really is gonna be like one of my favorite marvel characters he already is one of my favorites but i'm like is he my favorite he could be he could be um but i appreciate the heck out of y'all and can't wait to read your comments and i'll see you for blade three bye